Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. What you're looking at here folks is my big motor Razor E300. Now, a few of you may know that I've previously hacked in a relay into this uh, scooter and that was a bit of a failure. It just cooked the batteries. And then I have uh, upgraded it to have a 500 watt speed controller and a, and a appropriate variable throttle. As you can see back here is this big motor that drives it and that's 500 watts as well. You can see on my channel the previous videos I've made on this scooter. What I'm thinking about here today is I've been collecting a number of uh, lithium battery packs off of tools that are dead. You can see these here. I've got a number of them there. And I'm going to pull those apart and try to harvest the lithium out of them. This is a defibrillator battery, also lithium, so I'll get into that, pull that apart. And my goal is to actually make a, a lithium pack to go in this scooter. Now, I don't think, know the exact configuration, but I've been doing a little bit of research. And what I think I'm going to do is get the cells out of these packs, probably put seven of them in series. That'll bring it up uh, somewhere between uh, 24 and 28 volts. This is 24 volts. And probably run about five or six in parallel. Now, I think the key thing here that I've been struggling with is I have been running this with uh, the typical lead, lead seals, and it just doesn't give us the the power that we're looking for. And I think it's because we can't get enough current. Whereas these tall, tall batteries, you know, we're talking each one of these will produce something like 15 to 20 amps. So that should be really good for this motor. 500 watts, 24 volts times 20 amps, about just under 500 watts there. So let's get into this. Let's get these battery packs uh, opened up and let's see what we've got inside. So I just pulled this first tool battery pack apart and what you can see is there's a number of these cells in here. I quickly measured the voltage and you can see that there's a pair of dead cells. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark these um, with just maybe a, a cross on the bad cells and then I'll uh, start pulling it apart further. These two cells have got zero voltage, so they were the problem in the pack. And we've actually got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight good cells out of that uh, one battery pack by the looks of it. I'll just keep on going, pulling this one apart. Eight good cells 
out of that uh, one battery pack bottle. I then repeated the same process with the next battery. through all of the generic tool batteries, which I could open up with a normal screwdriver, it was now time to open up the defib battery. Now here we've got this defibrillator battery. It's gonna be really interesting to see what is actually inside of this battery pack here. It says it's 12 volts, so I don't know, I'm gonna guess maybe there's four of these cells like these ones. Let's see if we can get a part. That is not what I expected to find in there at all. They are just little Duracells. Well, look at that folks. Inside this defib pack, we've got what looks to be eight little three volt lithium cells. Well, they're not going to be much use to me uh, in building my uh, big battery pack where I've got the uh, larger four volt cells. So I'm just going to uh, dispose of that. So you can see here, folks, that I've been lining these batteries up, how I think I'm going to set up this battery pack. I've got the seven in series and then I'm building parallel banks. So I've got one, two, three, four, nearly five parallel banks of seven. I've still got this uh, genuine Makita battery pack to pull apart. As you saw, I had to get the Dremel out because uh, at least one of the other battery packs had these security screws. So I might actually go and see if I can find a security screwdriver because, you know, far better to actually pull the pack apart rather than cutting into it with the Dremel. And then I'll pull that Makita pack apart as well. What I did notice is uh, the different colors now. I'm not sure if they've got different capacities if that's going to be a problem So I might actually get my Lithium balance charger out and see if I can actually do some testing on the capacity of each of these cells See if I can get them up to the full charge. They did vary a little bit some were down to as low as uh, Three volts others were up at the four volts. So we'll see if we can get them charged up and uh, Take it from there. But yeah at this stage we've got two four five five in parallel be great if we could get enough good batteries out of this one to bring it up to six in parallel that would be making a 7s 6p battery for that big motor razor scooter which will put the bms on and bms capable of about 20 amp continuous 50 amp max so that'll really punch that scooter along hopefully really well so that's it there's how to harvest good lithium batteries from dead tall batteries in future videos, I'll show you how I go about building a BMS controlled 7S 20 amp lithium pack for my big motor razor. If you found this video helpful, do feel free to like it. And if you have any suggestions, do feel free to leave a comment below.